What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Miss Erin Yvette, and today I'm gonna be doing a summertime get ready with me. So, y'all, I have been rocking these Marley Twist for about two weeks now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of ready to check them out. And I said I haven't filmed enough in them. You guys love my Marley Twist, and I love them too. We've been waiting for this moment for a really long time. Show you guys how I like to style my Marley Twist. If you are new to my channel, I achieved this style myself, and I also recorded this. So, if you do want to know how to do it yourself, definitely check out the description box or the clicker i have an entire playlist full of ways to style them how i do them extremely long right now i'm rocking about almost 30 inch hair today is just a really natural everyday glowy makeup now this is not going to be the makeup look that i wear every day this is the routine that i do when i'm going for a super glam yet everyday makeup type look so i want a full beat glam photo ready face but I want to still look natural and glam and glowy. Did go in with a lot more products than I usually do when I'm going for an everyday cake face. Is that crazy? Do you use more products when you're trying to be natural? Because I definitely did. You guys came through with me for 30K and now we're going for 50K. So go ahead to all your sisters, your friends, your cousins, everybody, be Subscribe. Let's jump right in. the fan because of this spectacular video this product is the rose gold elixir from aliexpress i did a full face of makeup from aliexpress also noticed you guys were purchasing as well so if you did purchase some aliexpress products let me know in the comment what you've been trying out so today i want to reiterate we are not going for an everyday look i am going for a full face natural makeup lately i've been using fenty beauty and the nars and a lot of you have suggested this months ago that these would be my favorite foundations and they are some dimension and conceal i'm going in with these two which is the la girl pro concealer this is an oldie to the youtube community so it's nothing like a good old favor and i was obsessed with these i also love milk cosmetics concealers as well and lately i've been using their flex concealer to add a little bit more darkness and deepness and dimension into my face this is in the shade espresso i really love this shade it's the darkest one they have I'm actually gonna set this on the back of my hand while i blend in my concealer because a little bit does go a long way i don't like to apply this directly to my face i feel like this way i'm able to control it better I'm taking my powder brush there's literally leftover powder on here and I'm taking whatever's on here and just setting my face that's it if you have oily skin I would suggest going and lightly just setting everything not baking because it's gonna give you the opposite effect of what we want for contour I'm gonna go in with my black radiance as usual this is the contour kit I'm gonna take the sculpting shade right here Lately for this look, I've been going really, really close to my hairline and I try to go lightly with some bronzer cause I don't want my face to be too dark, too deep. Same as earlier, I'm going in with another blendy brush and I'm taking that same color um, and I'm using that to go in with my nose. I like to take this all the way from the outer portion into my crease just to set my lids here cause I do get oily lids. And then I bring that, kind of pushing it in there, all the way down my nose. And I flick 
get in. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference already, but it just gives it that natural lift and slides it and slenderizes it. <laughs> Now we can go in with some blush because I need some. I'm gonna be taking this not so basic peach palette from Wet n Wild. I've had this for years and I love it. It's still amazing. I like to use this orange as the blush. So none. Blush. I like adding my birthmarks because my mom has birthmarks. I used to add these in high school because my mom has real natural birthmarks. And I get some from her as well, but mine aren't as like pigmented as hers yet. And I just always loved that, so. We're just gonna take this same highlighter from AliExpress. So I've been using this new uh, edge control. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to share it because I really enjoy this. I've been looking for new edge controls forever, period. And this is the first one that actually works for me. I did my baby hairs probably like two days ago. I don't sleep with a bonnet, satin cap, none of that. This is literally just going crazy. And it, it, it doesn't look that secure as you can see, like I slept on this side but it the hold is crazy like come on this is the edge effect professional edge control by magic collection i'm not familiar with this at all they have this one which is the extreme hold they also have one that's a little bit less than that this is what it looks like it's just clear it smells so good and i don't know that's it it was 2.99 for this small one that i travel with but they have a bigger one i think that's like 5.99 so let's finish off i am taking this urban decay d slick makeup setting spray for these hot ass days and i usually don't even wear silver comment down below if you wear silver or gold for the main part i use silver gold so today i'm trying to wear something different so we're gonna wear silver and these are two different earrings but y'all don't know that okay okay hoops are like the only thing you can get away with wearing two different earrings with <laughs> i do this too often though um, now i don't know where the other one is. you can't really tell but you can tell so I'm gonna go in first with the brown. I'm using this eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm rig digging today, y'all. I don't, I don't know where none of my stuff is. Usually I go with the brown pencil first. As a substitute today, I'm just gonna be going in with this clear gloss. A regular clear gloss. <laughs> and lately I've been going back to my favorite. This is the Maybelline Shot Shine Shot. Now I bought this years ago. It's still literally almost full. I only use a little bit and it just makes my lips look so plump. It also gives it like an iridescent kind of look to it. In my opinion, it's like putting highlighter on your lips and I love it. I feel like it just matches the whole neon theme today. Okay, so today I wanna wear my hair down.
bad out here and so very hot this is my outfit and the way my makeup looks outside so guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me be sure to say subscribe so you know when i pop out with my next one i love you guys so much and i'm gonna see you next time